What a great sleep. Oh, a message for my little prince. <laughs> my Rose. The snake is up to his old tricks. Fox and I are approaching the latest planet he's targeted, X442. Hopefully we're not too late. I miss you terribly. I'll write again as soon as I can. That must be the planet we're looking for. Yep, you can tell that slimy worm's been there for sure. Well, let's pay him a visit, shall we? Let's find the door. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Hey, this smells delicious. Huh? Oh. Ah, <laughs> since when do you like fruit anyway, Fox? I'm so hungry I'd even eat some vegetables. <laughs> Fox, are you all right? Yeah, but I suppose that'll teach me not to eat any fruit in the future. <laughs> Come on, Fox. We're really sorry for scaring you. The worst part is that I don't have any more paper to order my wish tree from the Gargand. <laughs> Here, <gasps> what's your name? Juna. I'm the Little Prince, and this is my friend Fox. We're from Planet B612. Nice to meet you. Your wish tree? What's that all about? It's a magic tree. You just throw your wish into the great tree pit, and on the morning of the Festival of Stars, when the two suns are superimposed, the wish tree you ordered sprouts and grows. Gargan, I want a music tree! I'm curious. Can anyone order these trees of yours? Of course. <laughs> that is, only the children who've been good, of course. <laughs> you hear that, little prince? That's incredible. We should order ours, too. Oh. Here, Fox. You can make your own wish. <laughs> Somebody pinch me. This is too good to be true. Gargan, I want a chicken tree! <laughs> You're funny. You don't have to yell, you know. Oh. <laughs> Gargan, I want a special tree for my rose. <laughs> 